Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a tricky issue that many Swift developers encounter. Our viewer is experiencing a crash related to bridging between Objective-C and Swift, specifically with the date and NSDate types. The question revolves around a function called track meeting ended, which is being called from an Objective-C file. The app crashes intermittently with the error message date unconditionally bridge from Objective C NS date. This issue seems to have surfaced after migrating to Swift 3, leaving our developer puzzled. All right, guys, we're back with another technical question. I'll be going through the question, the answer, and I'm hoping, just like me, you stay a little bit crazy to get that answer all the way through. Guys, let's get started. The crash you're experiencing is related to the bridging between Objective-C and Swift, specifically when converting NSDate to Swift's date type. In Swift 3, this bridging can fail if the NSDate object is nil. To prevent this crash, you should safely unwrap the NSDate before passing it to your Swift function. Here's how you can modify your Objective-C code. Ensure that you check if the NSDate is nil before calling the Swift function. Additionally, consider adding error handling in your Swift function to manage unexpected nil values gracefully. By implementing these changes, you should be able to prevent the crashes related to the bridging issue in Swift 3. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In a multi-threading environment with core data, be cautious of the returns objects as false property in NSFetch request. By default, it's true, meaning properties of NS-managed object aren't fetched until accessed. If another thread removes the object before you access a property, it can lead to a crash. For example, if thread 1 fetches an object and then thread 2 deletes it, accessing a property like some date in thread 1 can result in a crash due to a nil value. To avoid this issue, set returns objects as false to false in your fetch request if you need all properties immediately. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To solve the crash issue with date.unconditionally bridge from Objective-C in Swift 3, ensure that the value you're assigning is optional in Swift. Also, mark the property in the Objective-C class as nullable. If the property isn't marked as nullable in Objective-C, Swift assumes it can't be nil, leading to a crash. Adding nullable resolves the issue. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped answer your question and you found that answer that you're looking for. Now, please hit subscribe for the help. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time on another one of these videos. Cheers.